Welcome back, everyone. I'm happy to have you with us. And welcome to this recap of the AMD trade we took this morning. And I will answer to a member that sent me a DM asking, after market hours, can you pretend like I'm five years old and explain that AMD, AMD trade to me? Well, obviously, the member took the call and was able to, um, I believe, took more than half at 102% later uh, when we closed the, the, um, the play. But here it is. Basically, you see this morning it was upgraded. It was upgraded uh, nicely by, if I recall, BMO. Um, I'd have to check my notes for that. But it was nicely upgraded. Um, and we saw that it was being bullish. So let me zoom out a little bit here. So this is the activity that we had at the end of Friday. Now what we have on Monday morning is this nice upgrade and this is what we have early in the day before seven and then it starts sinking to a certain point. And what was uh, drawing my attention and what I usually look for is a break above this line. Right at the gate, we're a little lower. Let me recap here. We're bullish on something. We're looking to get a call, but we don't jump in right, yet, right in yet. Why? Because we want to make sure that we are on the right side of the play. Let me take this off here. So you're bullish on the play. You need to wait for something. So this here was support. You know that it's support for last Friday and it's support for pre-market. See what happened? It started to sink even further. We were in the 109 area here and then it started sinking even lower. So you wait. You wait for nice the, the proper support. Proper support, I believe, was... Um, I'll show you a little later here. But the idea is this, you don't jump in right in, you don't jump in right yet, at, right at the gate. Why? First, you have this line here, this green line is a 200 EMA. So a lot of computers will follow the 200 EMA, reject it or bounce on it. But in this particular case, we were just a hair below the pre-market activity. So basically it's telling you that you are not in new money because this is old money and you're not in this territory here in the new money territory. No, you're still in old money territory. So as long as you're inside this area, basically to me, it's just chop, right? So you don't want to get caught in there. But let me take this off. Now, what do you wait for? Basically, because we're bullish, I'm not sure we're going to get as low as the lowest support. This is the one minute. You know I like to have this line, the neon green line. I don't know if you see, you guys can see it properly, but this is the neon green line. This is the Tima on the 30 line. What I like is to get across or above it. Sometimes I don't really mind anticipate it, to anticipate it, but right here, we're bullish on the play, but it's tanking hard. And see the wicks we have? So basically wicks are people buying the bottom. So people are buying here, people are buying there. So basically at 9.40, this is where I thought we were going to get going on the other side because we're not getting lower. We have this attempt to get higher, but this is going lower. And then this, you know, when you get a doji like this, it's indecision, you know, it's not going up, it's not going down, it's indecision. And the next one over, it's starting to be bullish. 
See this one here? Started to be bullish. Okay, it rejected the point, this point, and then right up it was bought. And you saw that it started going up afterwards. But my point was, where did I get in? This point. And let me get you on something here. Why was I looking at that line here? Now, see this activity? Right here. Pretty much flat, right? Flat on that yellow line we just put in, okay? So this means that it's either support or resistance, but it's a line where you know people are either buying or selling, but exchanging a bag at this level. And basically that's the level we were at when we got to the, um, the wicks I'm telling you, I was telling you about. So basically that line to me was a support line. So we jumped in it right let me get this here it would have been just before that i believe it was 941 so it's just before that and then we started going up what i like to see is you know i took the 115 calls because i believe 115 had a shot but when we look and when when we get in i always follow who else is getting in at that strike? And we saw that more than a thousand, I believe, a thousand seven hundred calls were taken um, around this area. So basically, we were not the only ones bullish on the play. And why did I call the one uh, eleven five target? Well, same thing. we know we will at least try to get to this area, right? We will at least try to get back to a test of the new money. So here we did not find any new money and right at the gate, we did not find any new money. So basically this line becomes your support line. Now we overshot the line because you know volume was there, but people started selling afterwards and see what happened it stopped right on the line that we had before and then started going down i took the exit right here call the exit because we're crossing the line the target that i had even if it continues without me i'm okay with that because what the plan worked from here to there and we had above 90 percent and some of the traders some of the members had a hundred because you know it was going higher still so the idea was to stick with the plan i'm still okay and the good part about leaving um some runners is it can continue or it can sink and you're still green because taking half out or more out when and and leave runners on Basically, the, in the initial investment that you had is no longer there. So basically, the, mon the money that is in the market is free. So just to recap, the initial thought and the initial belief on, on AMD was bullish. We saw that the pre-market activity came to an halt right at the um right at the at the bell we're not going higher than the pre-market activity so this means that we will probably look for support lower how low well it all depends on the previous support there was support at 107.5 um but if we had um let me show you where And it's, you know, this low, I believe. Yep. 
could be even lower than that. But you know, in this area, it's that that was old support, but we took it, they took it down to um, maybe a little higher than that. The idea was to look at the wicks. Wicks are bottom getting bought. I looked a little further back on the one hour chart showing that was showing uh, previous support. And the easy part is to get in, right? When you get in, the hard part is to get out. If you have a target that is already um, set before you get in, well, basically, you know that this, from this to, to there, you know, we had um, enough to make a good rise on a short period. We can afford to be out of the money and not worry about the K. You know, this is Monday. And to start Monday with a 90 plus percent play, everyone's happy. So I'm hoping that um, this is five-year-old-ish enough for you guys. Um, remember, this is pretty much support and resistance. And I, I'm, I'm always open to questions. And feel free to DM me if you have anything, any questions. So I hope you guys uh, learned something out of this. And I'll see you in chat pretty soon. Take care.